I am really excited for today's video because I am going to show you how I completely transform my fidget toy organization. It went from black to ah. I'm just going to jump right into the video showing you the before, the actual organization part, and then at the end I'll show you the after. These toys are actually already a little bit organized. So for instance, these would be a lot of balls with uh, Orbeez in them. Also sand stress balls and also a lot of these Pokeballs. So basically I'm gonna take them all out, reorganize them into their little special groups, and then I'm gonna put them into those drawers in smaller categories. So instead of having three types of balls in one big drawer, I'm gonna do one type in each little drawer. So these are like my sparkly squishy things and I found a couple more, like my sparkle source. Oh no, something stained them. He's blue and green. And then these stars. So I'm gonna put my sparkly things in there. I found a couple more sand items here. And then before I was gonna do my air ones, just full of air with my water balls that are like splat balls. But I have way more air ones than I've realized. These are all just full of air. So I'm actually gonna take out the ones with air. So this will be just splat balls and water balls. And then I will make their own drawer for the water ones. These will just be full of air. I don't really like the ones with air. They have air and LED. They're not my favorite, they're fine. Some of them are really cute like this, but I still have a lot. So that's where those will go. So this one will just be splat balls now. I think I'm gonna put these ones in for now because they're pretty watery in the mouth part. I wasn't sure I was debating, but I think I'm just gonna do that. Now these ones have like a shaving cream material in them. I don't know where they're going to go. I'm just gonna leave them out for now. I also got some of these type of organizers that I can put inside the drawers if I need to put something in here and have some space around it. But I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna use those right now. First, I'm going to just work on organizing all of these poppets into the bigger drawers. My poppet drawers are already pretty organized. I had organized my poppets all by themselves just the other month, so they're still in pretty good shape, but I'll just take them out and organize them into the drawer. So I kind of organized by category. You can see these are like planes and cars. For food, I would have like, these are all the fruits. These would be vegetables, hamburgers. This would be like the desserts. So popsicles, ice cream, s'mores, cupcakes, things like that. So that's how I'm gonna put them in the drawer as well. I like to stack them so I can see the side of each one. Then when I'm doing my fun games and challenges, like I bet you can't find a hundred vegetables. I can kind of come in here and be like, oh, vegetable, vegetable, vegetable. And I know which ones to take out of the drawer for my challenge games. Also, it's easier for me when I want to find a specific one to play with, but that's why I do them sideways. I do know a lot of people stack them up and down like that, but for me, it's harder to get them out and play with and then reorganize when I'm done with my challenge. So this is my food. I actually had just finished these ones. These are all my animals. So like kind of like my zoo animals, I think of them as. And then I had like my under the water, my sea ones, and then just some random ones in the back because they fit. So I just have a couple more things. These would be like my outer space ones. I'm going to put here. I just found two dogs. I'm actually gonna put them in this one up here because it will go better with the animals. So I'm gonna take these out and put the puppies back there because this will be kind of my more random drawer it's gonna have like random stuff in it hot air balloon and my crown i should have a bunch more mythical ones like usually i put the crown by the mythical ones so i'm gonna have to find that i do have a few more drawers of poppets as you can tell these are poppets and also this is poppets so i'll probably find the mythical ones in there oh yeah i can see them already right here so this is where i keep like Unicorn, shooting star, rainbow. And that's usually where I put the crown as well. 
So you can see, even though I just organized these recently, sometimes ones like the crown, I would rather keep it in this category. So when I am putting them away, sometimes I do still put them in the wrong spot. This is the container I keep all of my mini poppets in. So now I'm just gonna dump it into this drawer. And that works perfect, I love it. First round of organizing is completed. These drawers are all empty except for this top one. That's the one with the broken handle. I don't really have a space for that, but everything else is put in here. All of these ones are all empty and they're organized nicely. So these would be my purses and there's some more coin purses over here that didn't fit for the most part. So my poppets. And I think they look so cute. These drawers slide sm so smoothly. So they slide really smoothly and they're more sturdy. So I'm not worried about them falling over on me. So yay, my mini poppets. And then like just all of my stress balls. I still have this one really big drawer left. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that, but I still have a ton more organizing to do. So you can see right here, I still have this drawer. Over here, I still have all these drawers and these drawers and this. I still have a lot of fidget toys I need to organize, but that was a good first round. Now we're just going to skip to the finished product. This is what it looks like currently. I really like how it turned out. I like that the drawers are clear on the outside so that you can see what's inside the drawer, but let me know. Should I put labels on the drawers? I've kind of been thinking about it. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm gonna do a quick tour now, so let's get started. This is my mini dimple collection. Underneath that is my realistic food, but just like the vegetables and actual food, no fruit. That is over here. And I'll show you when we get to that drawer. But you can see I have like carrots, dumplings, bigger dumplings, sushi, lettuce, all of that fun stuff. Underneath that are all of my beautiful shimmery stress balls. So that includes my shimmer bears, my shimmer sources. I love these ones, they're so satisfying. So lots of bright shimmery ones. And then my metal ones, like my bicycle chains, flippy chains, and acupressure rings. These are those flipping toys, but I never figured out how to use them. So I just keep them in here, but I don't ever use them. Moving right along to my Orbeez drawer. So all of these have Orbeez inside of them. This is kind of a miscellaneous drawer. It has my dimple popper blocks. It also has this version of the dimple popper blocks and this one actually spins, which is super fun. It has some more spinny toys. I love these, these are so elegant. I have them in a few different colors. I also have these in that same drawer, so pretty. I've got a few squirkies and I have some fidget pens in the back, calm strips, random things on the side. This is my mini poppet drawer. So it's a pretty big drawer because I have quite a few. Then I have my poppets, my regular size poppets. And I do have them organized, kind of. So these would be like my food fidgets. These would be like butterflies, space, I can kind of tell what they are. I don't know if you can tell. Let me know if you want like a more detailed tour though. If you want me to lay everything out and do like a really detailed tour, just let me know in the comments. I'll totally do that for you. In here I have my infinity cubes, my fidget pads, my fidget cubes, my dodecahedron, just like a bunch of random like that. Then I have my DNA balls. I love this color of DNA ball. This is my special custom made color and I love it so much. I have dough balls behind that and like Takumo kitties and things, the dough type material. Above that, I have my sand toys. 
and one of them broke. I have to clean it up. I have to clean it up. I'm gonna try and clean it up today. So stay tuned to watch that short form video later. But just ignore that and you'll see the rest are sand toys. And then I also have these really fun stars in the back. This is my rainbow. I have so many of them. Next is my drawer of snakes. And I have them all the way from like little. Here we go, hang on. I think that's supposed to be a doggy. I made that design. So like I have tiny ones all the way up to huge, like gigantic. I love this drawer. It has my mesh and marble in the front. These are kind of like random ones, like pooping dinosaurs, slinkies, little fruit keychains of things that pop out. I do really like this one. Remember, I have this as a three pack in my store. So this is like my favorite little keychain collection. And then in this round table, I have the fidget toys that I hate, Ugh, don't like. My three least favorite fidget toys in the world. I have these squishy little Disney toys. This is my mini collection. Look at my little pop tube. This is actually from the Fashion Fidget Advent Calendar from the holiday season. And I just love it so much. But then I have like mini poppets, mini tangles. Oh my goodness, mini fidget spinners. Everything's mini. I just can't get over how cute it is. Look at the tiny, tiny, tiny wacky track. And I have like little Nickelodeon slimes, a tiny Neato. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. So everything in here is just mini, super small. I think something fell. Did I see something fall? Oh yeah. Oh, a tiny little slime packet. So funny. Then in here, it's more keychains, little hedgehogs. In here, it's like stickers. So some stickers, and then also these are good if you like a more abrasive fidget. You can press that, and they're pretty pokey, but some people like that more abrasive fidget, and they're in the cutest little turtle shape. Now we have this one, which is like my mochis. So these are all my little mochis, and then these are my jumbo mochis. I mean, how big? What a big boy. That's crazy big. This is from my advent calendar last year. I can't wait to do a new advent calendar. It's gonna be so good. But look, look at this. Is this a mouse or a bunny? So jumbo mochis, normal mochis, balloony pets. And then these are just kind of random, random things here. These are my bracelets. So all my fidget bracelets, pop it bracelets, my kendamas some calming like sensory type toys and then my animal pop tubes so you can see they have like heads and faces on them it's hard to show with one hand but you know how pop tubes work this is my fruit drawer like my realistic fruit so this would be a peach my favorite banana. I love this banana so much my noodle I always love how the noodle drawer looks it's just so colorful and vibrant and beautiful. So normal noodles back here, I mean, I have glitter and stuff. And then these ones have shapes on them like animals. These ones are my mini noodles. You can see they're smaller than nor normal. These are my shaving cream fidgets. So they have that like fun shaving cream fill inside. I have some of the weirdest fidgets ever. Like this is a person. What? I just have some really weird ones. Look at this one. He is a little naked mole rat, and I actually have two of these. I have a different color. So these are my, my bigger poppets. I have even bigger ones over there, but these are kind of like bigger than normal, but not as not like shattering world records or anything. Just like, just like big, but not crazy, you know? This one has, what is this? Okay, fidget spinners, ASMR. FX, ASMR, fidget spinners, that kind of stuff. These are my soft ones. So when you squeeze them, they're like soft and plushy. So satisfying. This is my pop tube drawer. So I have jumbo. I have normal. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna have to set them up for you. So I have jumbo, normal. Then I have LED in the normal size where they light up. Then I have small. 
Then I have micro. <laughs> then I have just different versions of like micro. All these are like super tiny. Moving on from my pop tubes, right beside that I have my water stress balls. One of them did break, so just, it looks like two of them actually. Two of them broke, so I will clean that up at a later point. But you see, these are kind of like those watery type ones. So let me get one to demonstrate. Moving below that would be my tangle drawer. Underneath that I have my snappers and also my toys that pop out. Up. So this is my below bubble pet collection. I also have ones like these that just pop out. Underneath that is my sticky bubble blobbies. So they should stick. And I have a few that I didn't even open yet, like my Halloween ones and my Christmas ones. Why didn't I open those? I'm not sure, but I'll open them this upcoming season. Then I have like the ones that suction. So these are like my suction cup ones. Oh look, I can use it as door handles. That would be funny if I could connected them. Like here, it's a door handle now. Oh my goodness, this works so good. I never thought of this before. I could literally just connect a suction cup to each one and use it as a door handle. Okay, that's an idea for later. But right now, I'm just showing you. So I have these type where they're designs, they have like cute rainbow faces, I have like vegetable ones, then I just have normal shapes, I also have bugs, I have a whole drawer of like little bug ones, these are all bugs, isn't that cute? I love these, so I call these slime poppers because they have slime in the bubbles, but they're also like a poppet or a dimple. So it's like a slime dimple or a slime poppet. And I have them in a bunch of different shapes. And I love how they have glitter in them. Underneath that is my 3D poppet drawer. So I always enjoy a little 3D poppets. I've got quite a few in here. This is a pretty big drawer. So it's actually hard to find what I have because it's so deep. Then I have my purses in here. So some purses, some like pencil pouches, some coin purses. This is actually an AirPod case. It's just a random assortment of different like purses and pouches. Then I have my pop rockers in here. Very fun. These would be air squishies, like air stress balls. They don't have anything in them except for air. They are cute, although I do have to say they're not the most satisfying, but you gotta have that section. This is wacky tracks and just like random stuff. These would be my chewable toys. So lots of necklaces, chewable items. This is my candy drawer. So it looks like Twizzlers and they smell so good too. Smell them, sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh, I love how they smell, so good. So they look like Twizzlers and then I also have like the fruit by the foot, like fruit roll ups. Stretchy worms. My favorite drawer, my fashion fidgets. So this section is series one. This is fantasy series, the mermaids. These ones are the rainbow series. So series two right here, rainbow series. And then back here are my pets. These are my foam squishies. I can't even open it, it's too full. I need to get a bigger drawer for this and I will soon. But those are my foam squishies. So this would be, this should go in the purse drawer. I'm gonna take that out and put it in the purse. This is more like notebooks, pop it game boards underneath. I have a calculator, I have like my pop it game, headphones, and then some more coin purses. Those are coin purses. These are masks back here. And this would be like a foam case. In here would be all my pokey balls, like pokey in a satisfying type way. Underneath that is my flarp. And then I have 3D printed ones that people have sent me. And these are just so cool. I mean, check this out. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. And these are homemade ones that I have personally made. Pretty gross, actually. Let's ignore that. <laughs> In here, or up, oh, this needs to go in here with the other phone case. 
And then this is like my puzzles. So I keep my puzzles in bags so that the pieces don't get lost. So you can see these, okay, as I say that, that one's not in the bag. But most of them are in bags. That way you can see like the pieces don't get lost. Why is this one not in a bag? I don't know. Most of them are in bags. So all my puzzles and then also like big purses. Big purses that don't fit in the other purse drawer. And this would be my Neato drawer with all the different Neatos. Now this is super, super, super fun. I'm excited to show you. So these are like my jumbo poppets. So here, this one is like a circle. And then these are all the poppets that are the biggest in the world. Dun, dun, dun. First up, we have the Among Us poppet. This is the biggest poppet in the world. Next up, we have the unicorn. If you were to draw a line from this purple part to the red horn, you would see that this is the widest poppet in the world. Next up, we have this beautiful mermaid, and she is the longest poppet in the world. For an honorable mention, we have this lizard who is just amazing. Well, that's the update. This is how I'm organizing my fidgets now. Please let me know what you think in the comments and if you have any suggestions. I'll see you next video.